Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be, we're at different places in our lives. Well, I've got an email here from a guy who had been dating his girlfriend, I guess, for about three months. He started running into problems when she started backing away, and she also seemed to be kind of distant when they were hanging out. And it was at that point when he came across my work. And it, what I, when I read through his email, what it basically jumps out at me is it doesn't look like he really spent time reading the book if he even read it at all probably looked at a bunch of different videos got confused on different things again for those of you that haven't heard this before the videos are based upon the premise that you have read the book the book is like the bible that's the coaching manual that the videos are based upon so when i do a video i'm assuming that you are already familiar with the book and the reason i say to read it 10 to 15 times is because human beings only retain eight to ten percent of what we read what we hear and what we see each time we go through it and so for most of you that are watching this video you go through a 250 260 270 page book you're only going to get eight to ten percent of it each time you go through and if you're completely trying to change the way that you show up in your life improve your pickup skills your dating skills your relationship skills you got to know this stuff backwards and forwards it's great if you learn pickup skills and dating skills and you go out and you start getting laid, but if you don't know the relationship skills, you're going to struggle and you're going to fumble the football and that's where I see this guy here. So what's interesting is that he breaks up with this girl and that's what she tells him that they're in different places in their lives and he, pre he broke up with her because he kind of saw that it was coming and so now what he's done is he's gone into over pursuit mode and he's pursuing her. He's doing all the calling and all the texting. And so he like went from one extreme to the other. So I'm going to go – I'm going to read his quote that I wrote in this topic and then I'm going to go through his email. And the quote says, women are like cats in that they tend to come and go as they please, are sometimes moody, change their minds often, seek adventure elsewhere when they get bored and are more connected to and comfortable with their emotions. Feminine energy is similar to mother nature. One moment, it might be sunny and beautiful. The next moment, there might be sudden lightning, rain, thunderstorms, hail, snow, tornadoes, etc. Men should not take a woman's unpredictability personally because it's not about them. Men should think of themselves and masculine energy as being more like a rock, a mountain, or a dog. Reliable, always there no matter what, and not diminished by anything. So let's go through his email and point out where he's going sideways and where he's made the wrong assumption. Because again, it, if I was a bet man, I'd say that more than likely he's probably just watching some videos thinking that that's a substitute for the book. And again, there's case in point. It's just another guy that doesn't listen to what I teach to do. And you know he's fumbling the football here unnecessarily. He's making this way more difficult on himself than it needs to be. So he says, hey, Corey, this really isn't a question, but I want to say thank you. I've been seeing my girlfriend for about three and a half months. She quickly made me her boyfriend, posted it on Facebook, made future plans all the time, etc. Within the first month during that time, there were periods when I felt neglected by her if she wouldn't text or call when she normally did. Right then and there is women are like cats. When the cat gets too familiar with you. It gets a little bored. Its attention is placed elsewhere. And obviously, this is before the guy found out about my work. And so he starts to think, uh oh, there's something wrong. He gets into a fearful state. And that's not a good place to be in. It put me in fear mode. So I began reacting in fear, thinking that she was blowing me off because her texting and calling had slowed down when we weren't together. And while we were together, she would become seemingly distant for a while as well so you can tell he's just totally confused by her behavior probably questioned her and called her out on it because he's feeling neglected and that didn't make him look very confident or very strong at all it made him look weak and needy which turned her off and caused her to back away that's typically what happens again i discuss this in my book i began taking in your material i made now notice what he says next i made mistakes by letting her initiate all of the texting and calling. Well, that's what I teach in the book because all the guy really has to do is start the courtship off. He does the pursuing in the beginning by initiating the first few dates but as her attraction level grows 
she starts reaching out more and more and then you just really don't have to do any pursuing because if she's calling and texting you several times a week and you're only initially starting out dating her once a week, you go out on a date and then she texts you a day or two later then you make the next date and what happens is the weeks go by, her calling and texting becomes more and more frequent and since she's reaching out to you, it's her idea and therefore you start seeing each other more and more. It's a nice slow progression so the relationship evolves as fast or as slow as she wants it to without the guy trying to force things. It allows the woman to act naturally and behave normally the way feminine energy is. It's all about bonding, connecting, opening up to receive love and the deeper a woman falls for you, the more she wants your attention all of the fucking time. But this guy allows these moments to diminish him and he comes unglued and he expresses that to her because he's He's in a fearful state and that turns her off because now he's not acting like a masculine man. He's in essence acting like a little insecure girl and it's a turn off. Women want a masculine guy who's not going to completely fall apart because she hasn't reached out to him for a day. Maybe she decided to hang out with her girlfriends for the day or maybe she was busy with a work project or whatever. But if the guy comes completely unglued, it makes him look weak, desperate and needy and it's a turn off. It causes women to back away even more and the average guy that doesn't know any better when that happens, it's just part of the ebb and flow of the way women are, he starts to chase and pursue and that just causes them to to push the woman away even more. I felt lonely when she didn't so I just didn't do anything. Then last week when I didn't hear from her at all, I became upset, lonely and fearful and I pulled the trigger first by breaking up with her. She responded by saying, we are at different places in our lives, blah, blah, blah. I ignored her for a few days because obviously she was turned off to the point where she just didn't even want to talk to you at all and then he got fearful and this is probably – who knows how many episodes this this behavior that he exhibited over the three months that they were together. So the last one, she backs off for a whole week because she's turned off by his behavior and then he goes and he breaks up with her further displaying and demonstrating that he's insecure and desperate and is totally diminished by her actions. Then I sent her a text about why I had broken up with her, told her that she made me feel lonely, unappreciated, etc., that I couldn't be just friends because I wanted to touch her and make love to her and that if things ever changed or if it didn't work out with whomever she was seeing now, again, he's presupposing she's already dating another guy. Again, that makes him look jealous, insecure, and weak. Not helping his case at all. Now keep in mind, he says he's been taking in my work. But obviously he hasn't read the book. He's watched a few videos, probably watched some of the videos I did on how to get your ex back or the best strategy to get an ex back. And he's cherry picking information. But he's not really modifying his behavior. For her to call me that I loved her and goodbye. All things that I learned from you to end it sweetly State what you want and be real. Again, you haven't read the book. That's pretty obvious at this point. And that's the biggest part of your problem. You, It's like Confucius said, success depends upon prior preparation. And without said preparation, there's sure to be failure. So you went and you cherry picked a few inf- some information you saw in a few videos and you didn't really know what the hell you were doing. And all, you, nothing really changed in your behavior from the way you were until you started watching some of my videos. You cherry picked it and you used things that reinforced your fearful worldview until it just spiraled out of control and you broke up with her to be punitive because you felt like she was about to get rid of you, which may be true. Unbeknownst to me, someone who is Facebook friends with her told me that she was out with her friends at happy hour the moment I sent that text and she stopped what she was doing with them and sent me this long book of a text to tell me the truth. Well, it was a lot different than the we are just at different places in our lives bullshit. Turns out I had neglected her myself by not contacting her and she was getting tired of initiating everything. I also had acted less than a man by following her lead. That's the real problem here. He was a follower. He was constantly communicating that he was more into her than she was into him. He acted unsure of himself which was incredibly unattractive and it turned her off and so she started backing off and when she backed off, his behavior got more emotionally irrational and out of control. 
He was following her lead instead of making plans, which she said wore on me. So she'd reach out and you you basically expected her to make the date and suggest where to go. So you totally made her the decision maker. You made her the man in the relationship and that's the real reason why she got turned off and backed away. It's not – the problem was – wasn't that – she was doing all the calling, texting and pursuing. The problem was that she would reach out to you and you would sit there like a woman on the other line and you'd make her ask you out and make the plans, decide where to go. And women don't want the power. They don't want to make all the decisions. They'll reach out. They'll be, hey, I'm thinking about you. Hope you're having a great day. I miss you. That's what women are going to say. And that's when you set the next date. But you, he wasn't doing that. So that's the real problem there. But yet he thinks it was something totally different. And even she's not really completely clear on why she lost interest. I totally did not expect any of that. I expected her to blow me off. Although in the body of the text she says, my decision to end it now, my friends who are girls have read it and all say, yeah, she's saying that to save face. She would not have stopped her girls night out to tell you the truth about what you did wrong and admit that she still loves you if she wanted the breakup. She wants to be with you. This is his female friends are telling him. My ex also said that me insinuating that she is seeing someone right now is out of line. Again, it's basically communicating to her that you didn't trust her, that there was probably some other guy and that's why she blew you off. All of this really revolves around the fact that this guy is insecure and unsure of himself. And it's a turn off because he's projecting his insecurity onto her in essence being jealous and accusing her of having another guy in the picture which is the furthest thing from the truth. She was just turned off by his unmanly behavior and she communicated that. He just didn't know how to read between the lines and spot what the real problem was. And that she is not seeing anyone else nor am I interested in anyone. Translation, pursue me, Bob. So that's what all the girls told them. Oh, you got to call her. You got to pursue her. You got to tell her how much you care. Again, that's what you see in movies all the time. So women see that and they become just as brainwashed and this is what they're, they're giving them bad advice. Things I learned from you in all of this. Women are like cats. They need to leave your lap and go and do their own thing for a while before they come back to you. That's absolutely correct and true. Number two, never hold back in your relationship. Tell her exactly how you feel all of the time. But you got to notice how much she's expressing it. If you say I love you 10 times and she says it maybe once for every 10 times, that's too much. The idea is let her talk about those things more. But don't be a cold fish when she mentions those things. Also, if she says how come you never call me, if a woman complains about that or brings up, then maybe once a week you surprise her out of the blue with a simple text like, hey, hope you're having a great day. Just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. Had a really great time the other night. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Something along those lines. That's it. That's all you got to say. Doesn't mean you got to blow her phone up a good morning text, a good night text, and hope you're having a good lunch text and all that nonsense. Because that in and of itself becomes boring and predictable. You become like robots instead of spontaneous lovers that are having a good time together. So now for the past couple of days, I've been initiating all of the communication. See, now he's gone from one extreme to the other. I'm doing it from a place of love rather than fear as I learned from you. Again, you need to read the book 10 to 15 times, dude, because if you keep doing all the calling, texting, pursuing and chasing her and pursuing her, she's going to friend zone you and break up with you. And I've done countless videos over the years where guys are doing exactly what you're doing now. And this is what happens. You're not prepared. You didn't read the book. You're taking shortcuts thinking you can just watch a few videos here and there and cherry pick some information. And it's going to blow up in your face. Even though she says we're broken up, I realize now that as time goes by, she will bring – she will begin to trust me again to where she can open up and begin to initiate communication with me again. She is once again answering my texts in a timely manner and it's good with no pressure. I also have knee surgery coming up so my recovery time keeps me from, hey, when are you free to hook up? That's not what I teach. When are you free to get together? Again, more cherry picking, not really paying attention. You're just sloppy. You're, you're, you're prepared to say sloppy, dude. You're, you're completely making this way more difficult than it needs to be. And you're setting yourself up for major failure and heartbreak. This will create a natural time away from each other to reflect on things. If it weren't for you, I would have kept my pride and never opened up to her about how I really felt about her. 
But now we are texting and we'll see where it goes from there. You're texting? The phone is resetting dates, dude. Hang out, have fun, and hook up. But instead, you've basically become the friend on the side, the texter all the time, professing your love and your feelings, but it doesn't sound like you're really spending any time together, hanging out, having fun, and hooking up. You've actually, you're, you're friend zoning yourself now. It sounds like you're already in friend zone. I don't ex- expect a response. I didn't pay. I just want to say thanks, but a response would be nice if you have the time. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to read the book 10 to 15 times, dude. I pointed out all through your email how you being unprepared and not being familiar with the book and taking shortcuts by just watching a few videos here and there, you are totally have, have totally confused yourself and now you're acting like the gay male girlfriend and you're no longer hanging out as a romantic lover. If you're reaching out to her, it should be ma- to make a date. Hang out, have fun, hook up. It's that simple. Just like I discussed in the book, it's the man's job to create a romantic opportunity for sex to happen. That, that's it. But now you, you're basically – you went from being her pissed off lover to breaking up with her to now you're the male orbiter in backup position in friend zone. So again, another cautionary tale. I've done countless videos over the years where guys that try to cherry pick a few things in the videos and they think they're doing the right thing and you know they, it just doesn't end well. You got to read the book 10 to 15 times. You got to learn the baseline fundamentals so the behavior makes sense of a woman. That way, the things I teach in the book are instinctual. And you, with this amount of effort that you're making, you might as well just unsubscribe from my YouTube channel because you're not helping yourself. You're not going to get anywhere. You can't just substitute watching videos for the book. It's just not going to work. There's too many things you need to know. You need to understand the pickup skills, dating skills, and relationship skills. And it's like you're. You're violating all kinds of principles, dude. So you need to get your shit together, brother, if you, if you want to turn things around with this girl. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way is to book a paid phone, Skype, or email coaching session. You can choose any of those options by going to my website, clicking the products tab at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions for booking whichever option works best for you. And I will talk to you soon.